Hey guys, it's me, King Boxing Nerd, with another video. It's fight week. Yes, it's fight week. Canelo Alvarez versus Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant versus Canelo Alvarez. It's going down this Saturday. It's fight week. I'm excited, looking forward to it. Um, well, first of all, does Caleb Plant have a shot? this Saturday of winning. Of course, um, every fighter that gets in the, in the ring has a shot. Um, would it be, is it enough? I mean, as far as, is it enough to beat Canelo? I'm not sure. I mean, don't get me wrong, Caleb Plant has skills. He knows how to box. He knows how to move in the ring. He's smart. Um, but he doesn't have the experience yet that he may need uh, when the going gets tough to beat uh, a Canelo Alvarez who has a world of experience now, um, who has gotten better. But then again, it's boxing. Anything can happen. I mean, Canelo's 30 years old. And uh, he's, he's been in a lot of fights, so he's put on some miles. And uh, Caleb Plant hasn't. So anything can happen. I mean, let's just say Canelo it, that day is, for some crazy reason, uh, he's not at his 100%. And uh, even, the, I mean... And Caleb Plant can take advantage and, you know, shock the world and win by points. If Caleb Plant was to win this fight, I see him winning by points. Um, I see him by doing a very smart boxing, uh, staying away from any exchanges in close or staying away uh, from being caught in, in the corner, you know using his jab kind of like kind of like what, what Kovalev was doing in that fight uh, if, you, if you guys go back to the Kovalev fight that fight that was kind of close there you know Canelo felt the need to uh, knock out Kovalev because he didn't want to leave it to the judges so what I'm trying to say is as good as Canelo is uh, sometimes he may find himself, himself uh, behind on points because he's a very aggressive fighter that sometimes he forgets to secure a round by points by establishing his jab. But I mean, he's gotten better at it, of course. But all, all I'm analyzing here is that I'm trying to think of any possible gaps in Canelo that Caleb Plant can exploit. And that's one of them is that Canelo tends to lose rounds. So that could be something that Caleb Plant is probably already analyzing tape and realizing that, hey, you know, we can win some rounds against this guy. We just got to, you know, make sure we don't get caught on the ropes on those massive Canelo exchanges, especially those shots to the body. Um, they're smart about it. I, I think that it's going to, I mean, it's, prediction I mean I, I think it's gonna be a tough fight I think Canelo should win um, by a late stoppage but it's not gonna be easy I mean I think he's gonna find himself again uh, losing on the cards and he's gonna come from behind to uh, stop Caleb Plant uh, obviously his punches he hits harder uh, so that's the thing and Caleb Plant just you know watch out for those massive shots if you, if you are able to dodge those bullets, then you have a chance of winning the fight. It's that easy <laughs> um, You know my dad made a comment and it kind of made me think but and, the, and see that's where you know the confusion starts uh, with the Mexican all-time greatest fighters of all time my dad said that already Canelo is the greatest Mexican fighter of all time, that he surpassed Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. Wow. 
<laughs> that's quite a statement right there. Uh, my dad was like, yeah, I mean, think about it. He already surpassed him. Uh, Chavez would uh, have us at some times, you know, on the edge of our seats. And we would be praying for a miracle that he would come back and win the fight. But with Canelo, that hasn't happened. Well, see, that's the thing. Julio Cesar Chavez, he was 27 years when he was considered past his prime. 66 wins, no losses, no draws, when he went up against a young buck called Meldrick Taylor, who was young, undefeated at the time, and uh, he was considered past his prime at that age. And that's when Chavez started, you know, around that era when Chavez started having tough opposition. Um, Edwin El Chapo Rosario and you know the list goes on and on. Uh, Roger Mayweather. So Chavez has been in, well when he was younger or in his prime he had tougher fights. Harder battles that could go either way. My question to you guys is, is Canelo that good that he makes it look easy like Floyd used to? Or is he like Floyd Mayweather that carefully chooses his opponents because he knows he's going to win? That That's where I'm, I'm lost as a fight fan. You try to analyze a fight the best way you can, but sometimes, you know, you get lost. <laughs> um... But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Has Canelo Alvarez surpassed Chavez Sr.? Is he the greatest Mexican fighter of all time? I mean, he's had accomplishments. I mean, I, I, I think when it's... The, what, what I think is when it's all said and done, leave it to the experts. Leave it to the Hall of Fame people, Box Rec. Leave, leave it to the experts to decide who is where. They experts know based on your resume and opposition. And I go back to Cable Plank. He hasn't had a resume with so much depth as Canelo has. The names are there. Uh, whether Canelo has beaten some of these guys who were already past their prime, they were still good fights and they were still good boxers. Um, and still gain something from it, right? Experience. So, Caleb Plant doesn't have that vast majority experience and that can probably cost him in this fight. Maybe Canelo, he could have been ready for Canelo in a few more years. But, then again, we go back to you know, what's going on today in boxing where the young fighters who are in their early 20s are not fighting each other um, because it's said to, it's believed or they want us to believe the promoters that they're not ready yet when are they going to be ready? back in the 90s when you were in your early 20s you were already a champion and going up against world, uh, other champions or top 10 opposition because at 30 you were already considered old but now in today's you know era you're not. Who knows? <laughs> this is King Boxing Nerd. Please like and subscribe. Catch you guys later. Let me know what your opinions are. Talk to you later. Bye.